Second day of beat count. I'm about to get my lazy ass up and get dressed. Head downtown. Go learn some more. Your boy performed tonight. Try to go and knock this beat battle out. Lafayette Beats. Y'all know it is. Day two, Lafayette Beats. Me and Beat Camp. Gonna head up to the Institute right now. Gonna go learn some more. Y'all come in. Holler at your boy. It's Lafayette Beats. Walk with me. Seven new stress Malone, Fleet DJs, ATL Rep, Spotlight, Air Me. Got my man Lafayette Beats. My man, holla at him. Let him know what you do. What's going on? It's your boy Lafayette Beats. We here live at Beat Camp. Y'all already know what it is. I'm getting the beat battle tonight. Y'all can catch me on Twitter, Lafayette Beats. Y'all can catch me on, uh, I got Twitter, I got a Facebook. All is the same, Lafayette Beats. Y'all catch the website, LafayetteBeats.com. Spell out L A F A Y E T T E. Beats, spell with a Z, dot com. Check your boy out, check the beats out. Hit a learn more, we have fun. I let. Thanks. <laughs>
Also, too, no food or drinks past this lobby area. We're still waiting on Monster. They are MIA right now. They're still dropping on a lot of products. You guys can get all. I told them to bring it to my hotel. Sorry. There you go. I just I just want seven minutes of your time, and then we can start the first round of classes. Um, the very first thing is important to realize why you're here. This is this is a big networking opportunity for you guys. I saw a lot of you guys, girls. So when I say guys, I mean girls too. So I don't want to offend anybody. Um, but just know that this is about network. This is about meeting people. You know, a lot of you guys from different parts of the country, and you come here because you want to learn, you want to network, you want to build. There's people from 15 to 50 here. You know what I'm saying? So talk to everybody. Everybody has different area expertise. There could be some writers in the room. There could be some producers, some engineers. Get to know people's friends and opportunity to work with each other. It's something we highly recommend that you all do. Uh, a lot of great things come from the beat camp movement. We've had a lot of people go on to place records from this, collaborating and whatnot. So just know what it's all about. Hand out your card, change Twitter information, talk to everybody, keep in touch, and really build a community amongst yourself and know that the last standard help to get to that level where you guys are going to take it to the next on their own. You know what I'm saying? So please make sure you understand that. Um, mm -hmm. As far as etiquette is concerned, I'm not really concerned about here because I know how most of you guys operate, but just know that when you approach anybody within the music industry or anybody that's going to teach a class to do with respect, and you don't lead off by saying how hot you are and uh, <laughs> you have bad breath while you're doing it, and, uh, <laughs> understand the etiquette. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we'll have a quick 15 second elevator pitch. Hey, what's up? My name is such and such. I'm from such and such. I love what you guys are doing here. I'm really looking forward to learning from you today in class. My name is this. It's cool if I follow you on, on your social network and keep in touch. That's all you need to say. They don't respect mm -hmm. you. You know what I'm saying? So just know how to approach people and talk to people. Very important. This, this game is all about relationships, but it's also about nurturing those relationships once you get them. Having somebody's Twitter, having somebody's email, having somebody's Instagram is not a relationship. It's about following up, being consistent, and continually coming out to events like this. Like, I see you guys come out all the time. We all build truth now. We all have a good rapport with each other because we keep coming to these events. And I know how serious you guys are about your craft, so it makes me want to help you more. It makes us want to help you more. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. So understand the etiquette. Make sure you guys turn your phones off when in the classrooms. All right, no food or drinks in the class, like I said. A um, couple things, one-on-one -on -one critiques. Where's Tyler? This one. All right, Tyler, blonde gentleman that was up here all yesterday, he's gonna have it. All right, lock your beats. You got to get ready to go in on my listening session, my one-on-one -on -one session. I'm here with my boy right now. Tyler. And, uh, Tyler, he's going to tell you what uh, his part at the institute is. Uh, I'm a student at SAE and I go here helping out at B-Camp this weekend. Uh, and right now we're having one-on-one -on -one critiques with the producer, uh, the freshman. So he's about to start his session and get a critique on his beat. Alright, you heard it from the mouth. Lafayette Beats. I let Um, no, nah, I got an actual hard drive. Hard drive? Yeah, I got a, a, a big hard drive. I got this. Hello? Lafayette Beats, we in the building, we hit the one on one. You know what I'm saying? We got the, no, we the freshmen, they here right here, right now, live in the building, we in the studio. So I guess you supposed to use flash drive or hard drive? Um, you guys, they have a flash drive. Mm, I brought my hard drive. That's really the same. Plug it into uh, the power down oh, there. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, and I'll work here there. Right. And, and uh, you it's guys. It's already patched in. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, yeah, I can I can set Check it up. This. I just don't wanna. Yeah. So put well, it on the flash sure. drive in the tower down here. And I wonder if it will go automatically to the speakers, but it's not on that, so. You gotta get the sound set up. It's going down. I feel it. I let it.
Which folder is it? Um, um go to I thought I had all the folders on it. Uh it's the same like here. Then you scroll down to the end. Uh, right here? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they would have it set up, but I didn't you didn't get to it. Yeah. Just uh just play a quick one real quick just so we can make sure the sound right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just pick, yeah, just pick a random one. <laughs> that was me. So it's not going in here. Meters, it's on one and two. Let's patch it to an external. It'll be easier to use it now. Pro tools out. La Vieti Ale Ale Um, you want to talk a little bit about yourself, maybe some other tracks that you guys have done recently that they might know? Uh, 
Um, with, uh, Kelly Rowland, Kelly Rowland, um, DJ Drama, So Many Girls, we produced that record. Um, really working real co close with Boy Wonder, we get to work on anything that he's involved in. It's just, it's, when you're sending out, out all these beats, you gotta think, he's getting so many beats from all these people. It's almost like, like winning the lotto. Like, this artist has to connect with your music like instantly. So like, I mean, it's just a blessing just to work with him. So all the stuff that we're involved in with him, um, that's pretty much what, what else you got. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's just a question. You've been real lucky, like you said, man. Um, <coughs> off of a separate beat battle in Nashville, we were able to sign with Boy Wonder. Um, at that point, you know what I'm saying, from there we've been able to work with Jeezy, Thug, Meek, Drake. Um, we, we've had Wayne record the two tracks, you know what I'm saying? We've got Jeremiah, we've got a bunch of people just, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on, man. It's been a real good year for us. What's the name of the beat battle? Uh, the other one that was the sound beat battle. Yeah.
I was like, great, because at the time when I wanted to do it, he was like, I'm working on how, you know, you know, I can't do it. I'm like, all right, well, I respect it, you know? You want to involve or not, you know, bring anything grander to the table at the moment, you know, I can't be mad. So he called me after everything wasn't shaking out. He was like, yo, let's go. And we put it out, and I remember going into the discount mall in Old National. Like, not as much as CD, you know, and I brought it in there to the guy, and I showed it to him. He's like, man, nobody want that shit, dog. Nobody fuck with Gucci no more, he's done. I was like, Wow, did not expect that. You know, like, I was expecting anything like let's come sign assignment, whatever. I was like, damn, like immediately shit upon it. This is the first place I go. I was like, all right, man. So I had Gucci with me in the car. I didn't bring him in with me. I just, I stayed out in the car. <laughs> so, so we go out in the car and I just cranked that shit up. I just system in my car. And my, my, I had like a RAV4 or something, dog. Something ridiculous. Well, like, stupid ass car. I cranked that shit up and we just sat in the parking lot. People just started crowding around. Uh, started selling them a couple CDs. Dude comes out like 20 minutes later. Man, let me buy 50 right now. <laughs> okay, you know. Now it's more expensive. Yeah, now it's gonna be more expensive. You know what? It's like uh, you get, like I said, you gotta make money. You know, you gotta know a million times. You know, sometimes for legitimate reasons, you know, you can listen to the truth. It'll make you better. You know, sometimes it's like you're full of shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like. You're just hating right now, or you don't know, you know? Like, a lot of people will just speak from a perspective like they just don't know, really. And they don't know they don't know, but they don't know they're not talking. You, know? <laughs> so you have to, like, politely just be like, get the fuck out of my way. You know? like, <laughs> let me do what I got to do, you know? So I knew the tape was jamming. I'm like, this is tight, you know what I'm saying? I know this is tight. I would listen to it, you know? So put it out there, people listen to it, you know? And, and from that point on, it just really took off. So I think as far as just going back to your question about hosting, it's different things, you know I mean? Certain people reach out, and it is just like a monetary thing. You know, just like people buy beats, you know? Like this guy reached out from Norway. He had rapped over an instrumental of one of the Star Lido beats I did that I put out. He was like, yo, I want you to remake the beat. He made a new beat. It was like <laughs> three-day transaction, international, you know, like random, super cool, you know? People will shoot you and then like, tell the goofy story afterwards. You know, like, <laughs> somehow you'll hear it in the rap, like, Shot up in the face, damn. Like, damn. <laughs> like how am I enjoying this? This doesn't even make sense, you know? But it was just entertaining at the end of the day. You know, I realize I came to realize it's just the, the character, the charisma, the, the energy, you know. Like Yellow Wolf had the same thing when I was listening to this thing. Like, Man, this guy's rapping like he's like something serious, you know, like he's really serious about something, you know. I think everybody I've kind of worked with I've found like something about them. I'm like, all right, this could resonate with other people, you know. And it's always just thinking like I put stuff out with certain people and you know, not got the response I think, but more often than not, I think if, if you really follow like personality, the charisma, the drive, you know, there's a there's a, like four or five of the criteria. You know, drive is definitely one of the big things. I go to work like I don't know why I work, like I work, you know, like I just have a battery in my back, you know. <laughs> I like five people who have that same thing, you know, like Gucci just goes to the studio. I don't know why he goes to the studio, you know what I'm saying? So, like they just work because this is just what they do, you know. Mm -hmm. It's like I like to find those type of people. You can have families, you can have all this stuff. I got a family, you know. But it's like, do you work? You know, mm -hmm. it's like everybody can find every excuse of why you can't do something, or why you can't come to the session, you know. But what reason are you gonna find to show up? You know, mm -hmm. because that's ninety percent of the battle. You know, showing up to the session. So. Who's gonna be there? You know. Mm -hmm. Do you um? Do you do your beats for artists? Do you work with them? Because you, you, you like your salary, or is it, how, how do you choose um, to distribute that, your beat to the artists? Um, I, I think it's a lot, like, kind of how just finding artists to work with, period, you know? Like, the voice, the energy, you know? Do they have to be, did they have, to have everything right before you approach? No, or? I mean, I think definitely, like, Scotty had a couple things, mm -hmm. but not, in, you know, some other areas, you know? He's definitely grown in those areas. So I think it's it's just all about where I come in with some artists are buzzing and I, you know, hear about them, damn, you know, ASAP Rocky still, you know, send some tracks, so it's two, it's three, you know. Some sometimes it happens like that. Not usually, you know. Not usually, like that's just a really random occurrence, you know. Most of the time it's reaching out to somebody like on the rise, you know, somebody that's on your level or, or whatever, you know, kind of building up like when I did Renaissance Gangster with Star Lido, me and him were basically kinda of the same place. I done a couple things, he had done a couple things. He had the, the greatest break with GC on the trap to die, you know. He had a couple things that uh, 
we were both like right at the same place, so I think when we worked together, it made sense, you know? It was like a mutually beneficial thing. Like I said, people don't really just want to hand you or give you something. Like, right. Oh, see how let me do a whole big state for you. Who are you? Like, you know, it's like, <laughs> that's what you're going to get, you know? But it's like, if you keep working at a certain point, it's like, he might reach out to you. You know? Mm-hmm. That's what you got to think about. That's the path you're on. Everything else to take care of yourself. Like in general, um, like what I try to tell people is don't put somebody in a position to where they're losing money. You have a great ear for tracks and where they should go. What would be your advice from a r standpoint to up-and-coming producers um, to do like some do's and don'ts when sending tracks? Um, stay persistent, but definitely don't get on people's nerves. You know? <laughs> don't blow the hell up, man. Cause people are like, I can't deal with this guy. You know, like, if they can't work with you, that's rule one. You know, like, people want to know, are, can they work with you and are you cool? You know, most of the stuff that's ever happened to me is just me just being in the studio or being somewhere and bumping into somebody, being somebody, being cool. And then six months later, maybe I'll hit him up or yeah, we find a way to work together and it's like, oh, is that cool? He doesn't need me. You know, that's the first thing. People don't want to help. You know, it's not like people necessarily don't want to help, but it's like they don't want you know, people don't want to feel like they're giving you like, man, please use my track on your big set, man. <laughs> my life's so messed up right now, you know. <laughs> no, dog, you need to clean that shit up. Then I work with you, you know. I work with you when you're happy, you know. Like, when you're in a good place in life, you know. Like, people, I don't know, man. It's like people, once, once you see that somebody's doing something for themselves, people are a lot more likely to help you, you know. It's my fifth piece, man. We just left the camp. Shit's going down, man. I'm going to go get ready right now. Go grab a bite to eat. I'm gonna go get ready for the Hall of Night Speed Contest tonight. So y'all holla at you what? Lafayette Beats, holla at This is the boy Lafayette Beats, man. I'm here with two of the producers from Beat Camp, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let them talk and explain everything and talk to them yourself. You know what I'm saying? Who is this part? Man, um, Sir Ray Bands, and it, Sir Ray Bands on Twitter and IG. I'm um, here at the Beat Camp from Jason, Mississippi. I came down, I heard about it on Twitter. And so, I'm just out here showing up. Supporting everybody, working with everybody, talking to everybody, picking up more information, trying to build my, you know, better my career. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, true kid, a little bit south of Atlanta where I'm from. Heard about the beat battle through uh, Making It Mad. You can find me at truekill.net. Um, I've been a for a couple of years and just coming here to learn about more of the business side and get ready to make it. See, we out here networking, man. Let's just let y'all know. For all upcoming producers, that's weird us way in this. It's out here. You just gotta get out here and get it. Lafayette Beach. Y'all holla at Now, we got the judges here, but they're not gonna judge this round. You guys are still gonna judge this round before we start the actual producer showcase, B Camp Atlanta edition. Alright, but I'm gonna announce the judges anyway they're here. Clap me my homeboy. Jay-Z, Andre 3000, Lil Wayne, Jeezy, so many more. Clap your hands for my boy M16. This is my homie right here, man. He's working with just about everybody. We've heard a couple records from Kevin Gates and Dipsy Hustle a little while ago. He's part of the Academy. Rock with my homies, drama and canon on him. Clap for my man V12 and Wayne, man. Show some love, man. So this is not the Stoney, she's not judging, but you guys know Stoney. Clap up for her, man. She worked real hard. She got a chance to get that man. Woo! She's a very good producer in her own right, so definitely ask her to play some beats, too. She got some shit. And these guys are high standing with love. Verbal Cassie, Fab, Jeremiah, L.E.P. Bogus Boys. Clap your hands for the freshman one time, man. We love like the freshman. So these guys are going to judge the next battle, which I'll explain how it's going to go down. But we're going to focus on these four right now. We got three beats each still, correct? On the flash drives, right? I'm just saying, we got three beats still, right? Okay, so let's do it like this. Um, we're gonna have, we're gonna go from four to three. We're gonna break it down like that. Four to three, three to two. Uh, originally from Ohio, uh, Cleveland. Uh, I'm down here now in town. Uh, so definitely uh, looking to network, uh, many more collaborate. All right, Justin, what track do you wanna play? Alright, we'll go with Shade Time first. Alright, so step up front, man. 
Justin in, man. Give it up for Justin in. Let's start off like that. Let's turn up a little bit.
Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, man. Sound jockey, where you from? What's going on, man? Talk to him. Sound jockey from Germantown, Philadelphia. Hey, yeah. 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 I just make dope shit sometimes. Make <laughs> dope shit sometimes. What track do you want to go with? First track. Let's go. Sound jockey, track one. Yeah, what's good? Uh, <laughs> good to be here, 
Mia Mills, originally uh, from VA, I reside in Arizona now. Let's get it. Let's do it, let's try to Track three, man, let's go. All that. That's an ass and out 
out to anybody from Jersey, man. I've been living in the 80s, old since the 90s, though, so I rep the 80s my whole time. Shout out to I stand at TheSheetMasters.com. I'm just here to make music today. All right, small. Woo! Uh, put on our night. We all gonna beat them. You got that, Marvin? This is true. We really set you up, I think. What's that? Huh? What's song? song? What's the track called again? Punani. Punani! Let's go, let's go. Now, that? Alright, go talk to them, show them what it is.
I already know this. It's your boy Life in Beats, man. We just left Harlem night. You know what I'm saying? We turned up at the beat battle. Unfortunately, I didn't win, but who cares? I got a lot of networking done. I know a lot of people, a lot of connect, a lot of connects. You know what I'm saying? We're working. Y'all already know what it is. Got class tomorrow, so I'm gonna go get a little shut eye. Uh, you know, maybe parlay for a little minute down here to eight. Y'all holler at me. I be at beats. Holla at me. Lafayette Beat, Holly. Got behind the scenes. Lafayette Beat Secretary, she's chewing gum. <laughs> Best beat she's ever made in her life. Okay. Hey, but she's gonna be making beats soon. I sure am on Ableton. <laughs> on Ableton, Holland. What what are Ableton Live? Show them what the Ableton Live looks like. Show them what the Ableton Live. We got it. Where's that? You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta get one. It's going down. This trial right here. A little 30 days. Y'all know it ain't gonna take me nothing but a day or two. I'll be making about nine or ten beats on that bitch before it goes out. But, love you at beats. Holla at me. <laughs>